Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to give you two tips for anybody that is a collector. Now, the first one has to do with the American flowers. Second is going to be a way to make things more efficient so you don't have to keep traveling to Madame Nazar to end up purchasing your maps. So as far as the American flowers, you guys need to know that they do rotate between 20 to 30 different spawn points. They do rotate every single day. I've put out three videos with uh, wild rhubarb, cardinal flowers, chocolate daisies, and there's 10 locations for each, but people have been commenting on those videos that they're not spawning for them. Just know that they will probably most likely be there the next day. Luckily, I found 20 locations for the wild cardinal, chocolate daisies. I've also found locations for the wisteria plant, the sweetweed. I'm going to go ahead and upload more videos so you have 20 locations instead of 10. So hopefully you have a better success rate of finding them. The next thing we're going to talk about is a way to make things more efficient. Instead of having to travel to Madame Nazar to buy your maps and open them, go search, and then keep coming back and repeating that process. So if you saw what I did right there, I ended up going to my map first. I had some wildflower locations pinpointed on the map. All right. What you can do is while you have those locations up on the map, go ahead and put a pinpoint on them so you know where they are. Then that will allow you to open up another map like, say, the bird egg collection. Now, once you do that, you have six locations marked. You can either go ahead and find those, or you can pinpoint the wildflower, the bird egg locations, and then you can go ahead and open up another map, and then now you have a total of nine locations that you can go ahead and search. The good thing about that is, while you have these marked on your map, and you've pinpointed them, all right, and you've opened up another map, those search areas will disappear. What that allows you to do is go ahead and purchase another map for, say, like the wildflowers from Madame Nazar. So now you have three locations that you've highlighted or pinpointed. That map's gone. You've opened up another map for, like, eggs or jewelry or whatever. But while you're here at Madame Nazar, it allows you to go ahead and purchase another wildflower map so that after you go and search these locations, you can open up that map while you're out instead of having to travel back, waste time and money with fast traveling or traveling tour just to get a map so you can go back out and search. So you can open up three maps if you want to, pinpoint nine locations, open up a fourth map, and then you'll have the search areas. But that will allow you to buy those three maps that you've already opened. You want to make sure, though, you do not open up a wildflower, then an egg, and then a wildflower again until you found those wildflower locations because they will be the same locations as with the previous map. So go find them first before you open the maps. Hope this helps. See you guys next time.